and sadly that's the tree that uh, might have to come down in fact it, it's going to come down if I have more light about it it's too close to the house uh, Scott's Pine I'm led to believe um, but as you can see the state it's too close to the roof it's too close to the house it was alright if it had been planted further down the garden which is massive so it'll be a shame to shift it but I think it's too close to the house anyway um, there you go so this is basically the start now, this is the uh, front garden um, there's a panel missing out of here which as we've said before um, so the first job is to expose the drive and cut this uh, privet hedge down a little bit so that'll upset the natives but uh, hey ho since it looks like it's about two foot over the garden over this garden here so it needs doing anyway cheers folks Right, this is the drive. I'm just going to straighten the drive up this morning and uh, trim this little bit of a uh, hedge thing there. It's just sticking out a little bit more there. So I'll trim a bit off there and try and trim the tops. So it's the drive this morning. See if we can get through the gates and um, sort it out. I need a fence replacing, but we'll sort that out later. Anyway, Sunday morning. It's about just gone nine o'clock. And there you go. And there's the sad tree that's got to go. Much bigger that looks, it? Yeah, right, that's a little bit of uh, trimming down there. It's been uh, only a few, few hours this afternoon and picked up and tidy up. So, coming on slowly, uh, I'll get the driveway done tomorrow. So, cheers all. Well, first couple of hours done, um, steady going. Um, put it in the bucket basically, and then put the bucket around the back and make a big pile. Um, about halfway there or more. So it's doing okay. I'm uh, just having my breakfast. It's around 11 o'clock, uh, quarter past half 11, something like that. And it's Sunday, morning all. Well, this is the back garden, um, the shed is there, the greenhouse is the line, I was assume the back of the greenhouse is the line. No, it's further back. It's further back. Well, but that the, fence is right back. Yeah, but the tree. That's, right that side right. I'm talking about would oh, right. be, that would back onto the, the so-called fence, I would have yes. thought. Okay, so just overgrown. Just overgrown. Yeah. Uh, the roof is past its sell by date, okay. That's about it. That's the other thing, making piles of rubbish, you see, which is a bit of a pain. Uh, the rain coming last night has uh, dampened that a little bit, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but that's the only way of doing it at the moment, is making piles and decide what we can do about it. So, and I'm making another little pile here and work up the garden. Um, a lot of this is rubbish, of course. Um, don't ask me. But I've got the tapman coming tomorrow, so we'll clear some of the metal out. Cheers folks. This is uh, pretty much nearly sorted this area here. Ryan's done most of this. Um, hey -ho. 
must empty some of that and there's that little bit there so this bin's area is cleaned this is the, the rubbish and now I'm heading up the path as you can see these are the pallets are cut up for burning hopefully um, I've only been at it half an hour or so it's only hand tools at the moment um, but this is what I'm trying to trim back as you can see irrigated uh, ivy there's an oak in there which I've cut out lots and lots of brambles as you can see and when I say brambles um, they're taller than me seven foot and the path goes right there you can see a metal uh, post but further on there's another metal post and that's the end of the garden so I'm just going to try and go the path first so we can walk down it and work it from there anyway folks lovely day it's raining but hey ho love you all and you and you know who you are I right, made my way to the fuchsia and uh, as you say it's uh, not too bad I've uh, cut some of the bits off of there a couple of oaks out um, and I've come to the fuchsia which got a save um, but there you can see um, the fence is the end of the garden so I'm still you know another half way to go um, but you can see how dense this is. Well, I hope you can by the uh, footage I'm taking. So, and it spares no prisoners, as you can see by my arm. And uh, it's no good trying to put something else on to cover it because it just goes straight through that. Anyway, enjoying myself. It's still a bit drizzly, it's still a bit damp. But um, I'll be off out soon. Got to pick up a few bits and pieces. So the poles are mounting up. But uh, at the moment, I don't know what we're doing, so there you go. Cheers, folks. Right, I had a great fire and uh, burned quite a lot of stuff, even fresh stuff. Once the fire got going, uh, with some of the dry timber out of the shed, uh, it really went well. As you can see about the shed, it is well past its sell by date. I've got holes everywhere. Um, there you go. And there's still junk and rubbish in here. But as you say, we'll see what happens. So there you go. Um, managed to do quite a bit uh, today, but concentrated on the fire and getting rid of some of the rubbish um, that's uh, worked up here. Um, th this is a path I'm actually walking on. I know you can't see it just yet. And there's another path that cut. Ow! Fucking brambles. Excuse me. Shouldn't swear. So this is the other bit here to the other path. And we haven't gone to the bottom yet, so I'm not going to even go. But the rain's been hacking about some of this while I've been doing the fire. Uh, there's a fuchsia, and there is still this is another path down here which you still can't get to, as you can see. And there's the fence at the bottom, and that's the bottom of the garden, as you can see. A lot of work still to be done, and the, the buckets and stuff are just flying around. We've got a, a, a run to the tip uh, soon, so we'll get that done and uh, you know get a bit more of this picked up, um, this bloody big hose and stuff and bottles. Anyway, cheers, folks. Right, so well, it looks as though it's it's still very, very, very untidy, but um, the shed has uh, been demolished, well, demolished, uh, laid to rest. Um, most of it is in that burning pile over there um, as you can see uh, the shed was on a, a, a void underneath whatever I'll go to the tip tomorrow and uh, try and get rid of some of the stuff um, I did uh, push the shed over and uh, there is still plenty of timber to get rid of and to be burned um, but I'll leave it for tonight and uh, this was laying down here and uh, caught fire, I managed to tip it over and put some water on because I don't want it on the fire like that. As you can see, where it caught fire, and that was when I went in for a cup of tea for 15 minutes. So, there you go. Um, so, to the tip tomorrow, hopefully, um, won't be another fire now till towards the weekend, probably Thursday or Friday. But I'm quite pleased so far, anyway. Cheers. Still looks like a bomb site up here, but um, until we get a little bit more done, 
really, but the shed's gone now. And uh, once the tree's gone, I'll start seeing a little bit of uh, forward motion. I've been to the tip. But, but th this stuff down here is just basically junk still going to the tip and various other bits and pieces. But there you go. It's a beautiful big garden, and it could be. Ah, morning all. Um, Thursday morning, it's just gone 8 o'clock. Uh, sun is out, beautiful. There's a pile of wood there, hope to get burnt today. Made a bit more progress today. Uh, yesterday, sorry. Uh, took a little bit of a steady day yesterday. Uh, Ryan's worked quite well in this corner here. And uh, clearing through that, but as you can see, it is some ferocious stuff. Um, some big oaks here, um, which we can see this. There's a fuchsia there which we've worked work round, and then I've I've made my way up here, as you can see, made a pathway. There is a, a path underneath here somewhere, but I used just shears only, and um, I have got round to the other side and up to the back, which I'm not going up to at the moment. Um, well, I'll show you. Um, past up here and there's the fence and I've got round to the fence and then I've got to the shed over there and uh, as you can see it's still a bit of a jungle um, I'm gonna get a fire going again sadly but you can see how when it's all this dead stuff that is the worst thing to cut through um, but I'll get my little machete out and see I've got a trim round the fuchsia Ray might be doing that later when she arrives. Oh. Oh. Uh, very, very, very difficult on the foot. But as I said before, some of these uh, brambles are horrendous. My legs are absolutely smashed to pieces, but never mind. I've actually trimmed the variegated ivy, which I'm a bit of a nuisance. It's, uh, Hopefully we get someone coming to take the tree down Sunday or next Sunday, I'm not too sure. But if I can get rid of this wood today, I'll be well chuffed. Don't like having a fire, but hey ho. So, just get the fire going. I'm going to take a photo from upstairs, cheers. I'm going to put my hand here to show you how big that bramble is there. You see it? Now that is one piece of bramble. Yeah, that is a absolutely monster. Um, but Ryan's managed to chop a bit more of this back. Um, there you go. Still got to go through that pile there. We still haven't quite reached the end, which is just up there. Uh, I think the other shed is in the range, which is there. You can just see there's a bin and there's another shed which is overgrown and there's brambles everywhere um, but that's the end of the garden still got some way to go but hey ho it's only Tuesday so there you go folks not a very pretty sort yet but uh, it's getting there slowly well uh, we're planning a trip uh, to the tip today um, <laughs> To clear some of this stuff off here um, lots of uh, stuff that's got to go so we'll try and make up a load and uh, there you go I managed to uh, chop the path in uh, a little bit yesterday uh, it's been a bit of hard work actually my knees have uh, been a bit sore um, but I have but uh, yeah you can actually walk up the path um, as you can see the brambles are still sticking up uh, proud a little ice plant still going um, fuchsias uh, will probably need sorting but towards the end of the season um, and as you can see you can walk down here now Ryan's been working on this section yesterday as you can see but there's still uh, a lot to do um, but as you say it is only it's Friday morning Friday morning I've got to watch because uh, some of the things sticking up these are still quite firm and they can still grab you so I'll just go around with the shears and chop them 
um, but as you can see this is uh, nearly as damn it six foot tall these brambles and there's just this big section here still to try and get through as you can see you can see the top of the shed and that's where that post is there <coughs> is the fence line so there's still a lot but I did cut a bit of the path yesterday so just this big section here but, um, it's still don't get me wrong it's still very untidy you know but as you say uh, you can actually walk down I'm going to try and sort the fruit tree out over the next day or two the apple uh, and that's about it hopeful hopeful that the tree will go this Sunday or next Sunday so I've had a price for that now coming to do that sad but it's just too close to the house far too close uh, anyway that's all folks cheers oh and as you say here's my ugly mush um, nice to speak to you again um, but yeah I have to watch where I'm looking at walking so this is the burn pile uh, it's still nice and warm that is but no fire today or over the weekend don't want to upset too much of the natives <coughs> but they've been very good so far so it's just a question of having a cup of tea and gathering, gathering this stuff up and taking it to the gate so ready when the rain comes dropping the back of the car uh, so that is it. Uh, there you go but uh, it's coming on, so I'm quite happy. Um, Friday, first week, Neela. So, a lot to do and a lot more to do. But this is all with just a pair of shears, loppers, secateurs, that type of thing. Uh, there's no fancy machinery here. Um, I've thought about it, but it isn't worth the cost. Uh, you know. Anyway, cheers, folks. Love you all. And you. You know who you are. You do. I know you. I know you know who you are. Well, I did a bit yesterday. It's Sunday morning. It's a uh, tap pole building up here. I've got to get that sorted. And uh, so the bucket's starting to fill with water as well. Uh, scrape this back um, to about there, as you can see. Steady day. Chucked a few bricks in the pile here. Uh, but as you say, uh, just clearing this pathway here. Some stumps here I've had to. And I put some copper nails in see if I can reduce them that way um, for the time being the bench is on the wall because it's got a leg missing so there's two of these benches might be able to make one decent one or might be able to repair them both but we'll see um, this has got some leg damage as well so these need digging as well because this is set in the grass so but yeah Sunday morning a bit of a shower dampen things down which is fine because it was getting a bit dusty up here so Ryan's not here at the moment but I dare say she'll be long later so that's about it so just scrape this back a bit more today um, steady day today again um, um, but there you go and just have a look at uh, pruning around this side next by the apple tree and the greenhouse and uh, as you say see if I can do this remove the oak and just trim that back a bit but get in there slowly so I've got another four week uh, the first week at the moment so it's been hard work no disrespect to uh, oh but yeah it's been hard work cheers folks <laughs>